The mechanism of pressure-induced phase transition is explained using the thermodynamic model. Gistry energy versus lambda phase fraction curves are shown with lambda phase on the right and beta phase on the left. Lambda phase, shown with blue balls, is maintained at all temperatures due to the energy barrier between the two phases. Here, we focus on the Gibbs free energy curve at 300 Kelvin and take a look at the effect of external pressure. By the application of pressure, the Gibbs free energy curve gradually changes and at 60 MPa, the energy barrier disappears causing the phase transition from lambda to beta phase shown with the red ball. When the pressure is released, the energy barrier reappears, but beta phase is maintained since it is energetically stable. Next, the heat storage process and the pressure-induced energy release process is shown. When beta Ti305 is heated, it transforms to lambda Ti305, accumulating the latent heat energy, and the lambda phase is maintained in the cooling process due to the energy barrier in the Gibbs free energy curve. By applying pressure, the energy barrier disappears, and pressure-induced phase transition occurs from lambda to beta phase, releasing the accumulated heat energy.